what's up everybody it's dj ronald mccann here back with another little video so i'm outside here in the garage y'all uh, just like my name say dj ronald mechanic yeah i'm doing the mechanical work as you can see i got the the nissan kind of towed down a little bit right in the front had to uh pull this old radiator fan out of there it was time for it to go couldn't wait no longer. Should I ride home last night? All of a sudden, uh, seen a little steam come from under the hood, so I stopped in the parking lot, pulled over, and I looked at my temperature gauge. I seen my gauge was all the way up. I was like, God damn it. I said, man, what's going on now? Nah. So I sat for about, uh, I probably see about 30 minutes in the parking lot, so it finally cooled off. And I kind of had a little issue with that fan like a couple months back, but then it started working again. So this time was the last draw, man. So I had to get it taken out of here. But yeah, reason I'm showing y'all this video here today. Hey, look, I finished pretty much uh, got my other little stuff together. So I pretty much thought, hey, look, why I got that down. Hey, I can go ahead and uh, finish my uh, the rest of my big three upgrade for my car, pretty much. So you see, well, that's my wire that goes back to the amplifier rack in the back. That's that uh, SCAR one out gauge wire right there. Uh, already got my grounds already as you can see i got them covered right here there's one out right there and this is my other one right here got it going all the way down to the frame uh you can't really see down there let me see if i can get my light Y'all can see right there. That's why I got it bolted to. So they actually had a little factory ground that ran to that point, but it was small as hell. It looked like it maybe was about, shoot, I'll probably say maybe eight gauge, I guess. Eight, maybe six, probably six gauge. It was small. So I got that up on the way there. Ran that. Got it up to right here. So that's both, that's two grounds already done. So now, see that's my alternator right there. And you see I already got the boat off of it. So I already got my wire pretty much to the length that I need to bring it on over to the uh, terminal right there. So yep. That's what I plan on doing right there. Y'all go ahead and finish it up. So that way, look, my, my P3 will be done. Well, actually, I can't really say big three because really and truly, I have a, a third one right here. This is another ground that I made right here. Going to the engine block also right there. So actually, that's one, two, three. So actually, I had three grounds. So and that one and that one power wire that I'm gonna use. So I can't really say that's a big three. I'm gonna call that a big four then. <laughs> that's one coming off the battery. Then I got that factor ground I replaced over there. That's two. It's three, yep. So yeah. So I got my little terminals, what I'm gonna use. These right here. I bought these off uh, Amazon. Got the little heat shrinks for it. And of course, once I get it all straight, of course I'm gonna put that, that loom on, cover it up real good. So this is the wire that I have left over. Basically, pretty much. And this is what I'm 
I'm using right here. This is the piece that I had left. So sad to say, I ran out of my, my Sky High audio rig cable. I had, shoot, basically pretty much had used that up when I ran all that stuff to the back and all that. So yeah, I'm out of that there. So all I had was the ground cable left. Let's see, here you go. That's all what I had left of the ground right here. Nice like little piece. That's probably about uh, let's see, probably about almost like a three foot piece left, really. So yeah, this right here is my my junk pile right there for if the wire that's pretty much not being used. So yeah, let's get to working on this right here, y'all. I'm excited to get this done. I figured might as well go ahead and do it, shoot. While I got that fan down, shoot, let me go ahead and knock this off. You know what I mean? Set this camera down. Yeah, but so I'm gonna get my cuts going. Let's get it lined up. And this is what I'm gonna use for the crimp this here. Uh, this is a crimping tool. Got that off Amazon also. Now, they have different ones that you can use, but this one here, I have to set it on something, a good solid surface, and hit the top with the hammer to get, get a good crimp on it. All good, y'all. All good. I guess you can say I was a little impatient to uh, wait for the sky high wire to come in. Well, I ain't never placed no orders yet or anything, so hey, what the heck? Look, I'm gonna use what I got. I'm happy with that. Now, of course, I'm gonna give me some uh, some better cutters for the handle this thickness of wire right here. Oh, uh, good. That's one thing I do not mind replacing that factory wire, man. I mean, if you really think about it, the wire that comes from the factory on these cars, they're really just made for the handle the factory stuff, you know what I'm saying? Factory, you know, pretty much the, the current, you know. The thing about it, when you first get the car, you know, you don't have any high power components inside that car, you know, like uh, three or four amplifiers or whatever, something like that, you know, just regular basic stuff that comes from the uh, factory, you know. But when you start to add, that's when you need to uh, kind of like upgrade your cable then. This is not like the thickest cable, to be honest with you, for the strands, as you can see. 
Nah. I mean, no offense, Scar, you know, I mean, this, this is some nice wire, don't get me wrong, you know, but if I show y'all that Sky High audio cable, oh my gosh, that's a big difference. I don't know if y'all can tell. See the sky high is on the right and the scar is on the left. Yeah. Sky high audio head cable is more oversized, you know. So you get a good little bit for your money. I tell you that. So pretty much so far, I done already done uh uh pretty much rewired the whole car since then. Uh matter of fact, let me see, at first I had all four gauge wire up in the from the front, all the matter of fact the big threes, all that, well big four, whatever that I had up front, all that was full gauge wire, but at that time I had an 800 watt amplifier. So when I decided to upgrade and go to that, that SCAR uh, RP1200 and redid my amp rack over everything in the back. So I was like, okay, since I'm upgrading this, let's upgrade the wire and everything. So I went on and got that, that kit, that one art kit from uh, SCAR and just redid the whole car. So, hey, I'm good with it. Tough little jacket here. Yeah. All right, come on out of there. There we go. Now we got it. All right. Okay, we're good to go with that.
just about got it. Just me, y'all. Uh, I, I just like to put that, you know, on my wires, you know. See, when I was coming up, like all the uh, car audio shows, I used to go to, used to see all the installs that the guys had in their vehicles. Man, you couldn't tell if a wire was up underneath the hood or what they had it here so good. This one on sale, I think, for about uh, I think it was like ten dollars, I think ten or twelve or something like that. It was a special going on or something. So yeah. All right. Now I need to get this done. This here, cause this thing gonna be wide enough to go over that anyway. So, gonna drop down to the flow and bang it up. Yep. Yeah, excuse me for a minute. Uh. Pretty much show sure y'all. Uh, this will work. Yep, I don't have a uh, a bench or nothing built, so all I'm doing it. I call the old school way. Hey, I'm gonna do this bad boy right here on the ground, on the floor, whatever. You know what? 
need to hit them from the bottom end. That's what I need to do. Yep. I'm gonna do that. Flip it over. Hit it from the bottom end. And I'm gonna make sure this bad boy catch. Alright, get it squared up. Yep. There we go. That's it, y'all. Bang it on there. So, we're going now. Pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and slide that over there. I said I want to get the one with the like big pliers that uh apply a whole lot of pressure though. Man, that, that that's a good set. I, and matter of fact, I seen that on Amazon. I definitely gotta get that. So I wanted to be making all that noise with this right here. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do.
Let's turn it up. So now here comes the fun part. I'm about to go ahead and put it on. From the walk and running up to right there. Uh, shoot. Back with y'all, y'all have a good start to set my camera. So, let me get back with y'all as soon as I tighten this up and let y'all see. A few moments later. Alright, y'all, I'm back. So, as you can see, got it on now. Appreciate all my new subscribers and I'm old subscribers. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Y'all, we on that road to 1K. We getting there thanks to your support. We gonna do it. Uh, as you can see, yeah, I'm a little dirty, dirty. As how it is when you're working on your, on your cars, you know. So, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. So when I drop a video... Y'all get that notification. No doubt tell y'all, hey, DJ Ron about to drop one. So make sure y'all do that for me. So until then, hey, look. I got to get back to work, y'all. About to put this new fan on. Well, that's the old one right there. So I'm about to put this old, old fan. I'm going to take that, matter of fact, and throw it off to the side somewhere. Make sure I don't just set it on anything over there. But yeah, I'm going to set it off to the side and get my new one. And go ahead and start the process of putting it back on. So that way, hey, look. The old Nissan will be back in business. That's right. So hey, till then, hey, look. This DJ running mechanic. Hey, I'm out. Hey, like I always say, on to the next install. We out of here, y'all. Yep. Yeah.